A matrix is an array of numbers, symbols, or expressions in rows and columns. The singular matrix is used when dealing with one matrix like this. The number of rows and columns is always indicated in the same order. So the matrix above is a 2 by 3 matrix, meaning two rows and three columns. When you have more than one matrix, you have matrices. A square matrix is a special kind of matrix that has as many rows across as it has columns up and down. Here is a square matrix. This matrix is 3 by 3, since it has three rows and three columns. In our square matrix above, the top row has three numbers, 11, 15, and negative 7. These are three entries, or elements. The matrix itself can be noted with any letter, but every element in that matrix will use the same letter. We will call our square matrix A, so all positions of all elements or entries are written as an A, and then subscripts, A, R, C, with the first letter R referring to rows and the second letter C referring to columns, A, row, column. In our square matrix, the 11 is in A11, the very first position for any entry, while the negative 7 is in the A13 position. The subscript 1 places it in the first row. The subscript 3 makes it the third entry or element. The smallest square matrix would be 2 by 2. No limit exists in theory, but for practical use, Anything over 10 by 10 becomes difficult to mathematically manipulate. A square matrix can be populated by elements or entries that are integers, fractions, algebraic expressions, or even symbols, because a single entry could be something like x squared plus y cubed equals z. Even a square matrix with only four rows and four columns could be challenging. In computer programming, Many matrices are filled with nothing but zeros and ones, the binary language of computing. When a square matrix has only zeros in every entry except for a diagonal of ones, the matrix is an identity matrix. This comes in handy in matrix multiplication. The identity matrix, all zeros and a diagonal of ones, gets its name because it is the matrix to multiply times another matrix that yields an answer identical to the other matrix. It gives back the matrix you started with, just as 1 times 5 gives you back 5, or 2018 times 1 gives you an answer of 2018. You can add the elements in two matrices, but only if both matrices are the same size. Even if they are both square matrices, you cannot add them if one is, say, 2 by 2 and the other is 5 by 5. To add two square matrices of the same size, you need to keep track of each entry's position so you add like entries between the two matrices. So you add A22 plus B22. You add A32 plus B32, and so on. Here are two small matrices. Take each entry and its position. C11 is a 4, while D11 is a 6. You are adding 4 plus 6. The solution matrix will show 10 in the position 11. What are the correct sums for the rest of the matrix? Bracketed 4657 plus bracketed 612913 equals bracketed 10181420. 4657 plus 612913 equals 10181420. This works even if the entries contain negative numbers. You simply add the expressions, including the negative. Your answer matrix could contain entries that are positive or negative integers. Subtraction works through the same way as addition. Square matrices can also be multiplied. Matrices are multiplied either by whole numbers, scalar multiplication, or by other matrices. An easy way to remember what you are doing is to think that the number of rows of the first matrix must be equal to the number of columns of the second matrix. For square matrices, this headache is already taken care of.
To multiply two square matrices, you take each entry in the first row of the first matrix and multiply it times its matching entry in the first column of the second matrix. Once you have all these products, add them together. Here are two very small matrices. To get the solution matrix for the first entry, I11, we multiply entries from the first and second matrices G11 positions, 10 times 6. Then we multiply G12 times H21, 5 times 3. Add these two products together and you get I11 equals 10 times 6 plus 5 times 3, which equals 75. I11 is 75. Repeat these steps for the other three entries. If you do it correctly, your solution matrix will look like this. Keep in mind, the order of matrices matters in multiplication. Multiplying matrix G times H gives you a different answer than H times G.